Hey guys, it's Danny, and I'm going to be showing you guys an everyday foundation routine. Hope you guys enjoy. So I'm going to be taking my moisturizer from CeraVe, and I got this in a duo with the CeraVe cleanser as well. And my skin is very oily, acne prone, problematic, and just seriously everything bad. <laughs> but yeah, moisturizing is key when it comes to makeup so that you don't get any dry patches and all is good. So I'm just gonna put some eye moisturizer underneath my eyes, obviously, hello. And this is just to ensure that there's no under eye creasing when I apply product underneath my eyes. And this moisturizer is from Equate, which is a Walmart brand, and it smells really good. It smells like baby lotion. And once I'm done with that, I'll be taking my lip balm. The one I'm using is gonna be my Blistex lip balm just to moisturize my lips. And afterwards, I'll be taking a brow wax, running that through my brow hairs just to make sure everything is uniform and ready to go. And once I'm finished running the wax through my brows, I will be taking a spoolie and just brushing my hairs to the natural way that they grow just to make sure that my wax holds on to my brow hairs and make sure they're not going anywhere. And after that, I will be taking a small angled brush with two products on it. The products that I will be using would be my Maybelline Gel Liner in Charcoal and my e.l.f. Kit in Dark. And I will just be dipping back and forth within these two products just to make a good customizable color that isn't too dark for my skin and matches my hair perfectly. And by doing this, since I have black hair, I feel like using a black liner, a black color, anything would just seem like a harsh block of black on my eyebrows which is not natural whatsoever so anyways I'm just gonna be running the rim of the Maybelline gel liner and just lightly brushing the top of the um, product in the elf kit and just going back and forth with the two of them and I will make this into a fine tip so that when I'm putting on the product onto my brows it's a very light hair like strokes and when I do my brows I start in the middle so that the amount of product on the brush on the brush <laughs> gets deposited in the middle and is easily diffused diffused <laughs> throughout the brow rather than starting at the beginning and having a very harsh line um on your brow and having a very harsh line is not what we want we want everything to look natural and I find it a lot more natural to have a shadow in the front than to have a line in the front. And so I just take it really easy and really take your time because it's a lot easier to put on little by little than to take off. So just keep that in mind. And another thing to keep in mind is that you should make the best of individual brows. You shouldn't try and make your brows look as symmetrical, as twin, as whatever you want to call it as possible. Because, let's just face it, when does that ever happen? Then we get really frustrated and everything. So, why don't you rather just make the best out of your left brow for the left brow and your right brow for the right brow? And if they're really off, you can always go back and fix it. Alright, well now I'm going to be working on my left brow. And I'm just taking the product and feathering it up my brow hairs. And lightly coating the hairs rather than having... It painted on my skin to give a more natural appearance when you could actually see the natural brow hairs. And in my arch of my left eyebrow, it's kind of sparse there, which is so ironic because who has a sparse eyebrow arch? <laughs> so I'm just going to fill that in and try and make it even with the rest of my brow. Alright, and now I'm just going to be taking a spoolie and just spooling my brow out just to ensure that there is no harshness and everything is nice and smooth and flows very well. Alright, well now we're going to start carving out our underneath our eyebrow. And this is just to ensure a defined eyebrow and just to clean up anything that, you know, you weren't too happy with. And here I am carving out my other eyebrow as well.
And now I'm going to be taking a buffing brush or a blending brush and just blend down the concealer down, 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 <laughs> down to my eyeball just so that there is not too much product build up underneath my eyebrow. And I like to blend in between my eyebrows as well because I like to keep my eyebrows the same distance that the width of my nose is. Just to make sure that it frames my face correctly. I'm going to be taking my foundation which is at the moment Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. And I'm going to be doing the same thing, carving out my brows. But instead I'm going to be using a foundation instead of a concealer so that it blends out with my foundation. And I don't have a halo going around my eyebrows. And once I'm finished, I will just blend out the product so it's not as obvious that I carve them out. And it will just blend easier with my foundation. And here I am taking my foundation. I'm just going to pour it on the back of my hand. And I will be applying this first with the stippling brush. This is just to give maximum coverage. But since um, anyone that has acne or has problems with clogged pores please be gentle because stippling too hard can cause your pores to become even more clogged and afterwards i will be taking my beauty blender and just blending out any indentations that the stippling brush may have left and to just give an overall flawless coverage and application Do you guys see how well that covered up my redness, hyperpigmentation, discoloration, and acne scars? Like, and that was just with one even layer. And this foundation is super, um, buildable. So just, oh my gosh, I can't get over that. And please remember to blend your foundation down your neck. Blend it in the back of your ears, blend it onto your ears, and blend it into your hairline. And here I am, just blending everything out of my beauty blender. And guys, here's a little tip. Take your beauty blender with you wherever you go. If you're a super duper oily mess like I am. And when you start noticing oiliness, <laughs> oiliness to peek through, tap your beauty blender over those parts. And your oil will be totally absorbed. And your makeup will be saved. Now I'm just going to be taking my eyelash curler and then afterwards applying two different mascaras which will be linked down in the description below. Also everything I ever mentioned will be linked down in the description below so be sure to check it out. And that's just my way of doing my mascara you guys. Do it whatever you want. If you don't want to, don't do it. But you know what? Do whatever makes you happy. And right now I'm using the Maybelline Full and Soft. And now I'm using the Jordana Best Lash. Just as a oomfer. <laughs> as a oomfer. <laughs> just to give my lashes a little extra oomph. And now what I use to deep point my lashes is a brow comb. And I just blink into it. So my lashes can get fully divided and there are no clumps. And sorry guys, this is so gross. But you know what? I know I'm not the only one that does it, so it's okay. Um, I'm going to be taking a Q-tip and my saliva and just wiping off anything that the mascara left behind. And I'm going to be applying mascara to my bottom lashes. And once again, cleaning it off with a Q-tip and sal saliva. And here are some silly faces for you guys. And then afterwards, I'm going to be taking a white eyeliner pencil. 
and just running that through my inner waterline. And guys, please be careful. Please sharpen your pencils before you use them to make sure that you do not get anything snagged on your waterline because trust me, that's going to hurt. <laughs> And now I'm going to be tight lining with some black eyeliner on a small angled brush. And this is to give the illusion of fuller lashes. And the reason of putting white eyeliner on your bottom lash line is to give the illusion that your eyes are wider and you're more awake. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Always comment, rate, and subscribe. And much love for you guys. Bye.